Nomad Survival had a huge patch and we did play a part of it in the beta update. However, there the new character didn't work and we just unlocked the pets. So how about we take a look at them? Here are the pets and as you can see, they have different skills. Up here are usually the passives as well as down here. While this one is a special ability, so the fox for example, whenever you evade an attack, reduce the cooldown of this pet's attack by 0.2 seconds. La di da, this goes down this way. I think the best pet is the owl. So when you insta kill an enemy, then it refreshes the pet attack, which I don't think is too too good, but 30% crit rate, every 30 seconds it increases the player's crit hit rate by 30%. That is a lot. The effect will last for a total of 10 seconds once it's maxed out, but even the other stats are good. This one here is crit chance, this is skill size, this is just pet damage, we don't care about that. Alternatively, I wanted to go for the raccoon. As you can see, coin bonus, pickup range, the ability is harder, items slowly magnetize towards you, which I really like. And the last one being every 30 seconds increase the player's HP region by 20 and SP region by 0.5. I assume this goes up to 2.5, which could be incredibly powerful, but we can only equip one pet, so I will stick to the owl for now, and maybe later we'll take another one. We don't have enough gemstones, I don't know why I have so much purple stuff, but no gemstones at all. But the new character that we unlocked is the Whisperer. His skill takes a lot of SP, 700. The base weapon skill is called Possession. Stop moving and take control of a spirit. Boss enemies target a spirit, but normal enemies continue to target your body. While active, you're immune to all projectiles. SP does not regenerate while the spirit is active. Recover 5 HP each time an enemy takes damage from a spirit. Movement speed is doubled when near or inside impassable terrain. Amount does not create more sprites. Okay. I think I will use the merchant upgrade. It's always kind of hilarious to play this one because you don't know what you get. It's randomized. And what map do we want to play on? I think I like the crossroads. Yeah, let's go for that one. Right. These were a thing. Max HP set to 1 XP gain is doubled. Enemies have 4 time HP. Wait, is that good or bad? Can you outscale that? I mean, let's give it a try. Let's just see what happens. These are all deactivated. The Moonlight event is always enabled after 15 minutes. Moonbeams fire upon you. No, 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 no. Not on 1 HP. Okay. So... Interesting. Okay. Very... In oh. Okay. Okay, I got Lightning Strike as the first one. This is one that I love. Um... But will this be enough to kill the enemies? I don't think so. More size? Okay, that sounds decent. More SP region? Hell, didn't I read that you got removed? Um, okay, interesting. Colorless glyph. Character size evasion. I don't think I care about that. Dancing daggers. These are amazing. They just throw around daggers that bounce like crazy. And with our bonus amount, it's so good. I will not explain everything in detail because I've uploaded a lot of videos on this game. If you want to check out the playlist in the description, it's at the very bottom. And there you can see what I did in the past and also how the game progressed. More bounce is nice. But explaining everything if you have already made like 8 videos or so is a bit meh. Like I will explain stuff, but not everything. Okay. So, so far it's looking very good. I did do a test run on another character because I wanted to check out the modifiers. So I hope that I don't forget talking about certain things, but look at the designs the new ones of the weapons and stuff, they are entirely different and they look amazing. I love it. Okay, there we go. So the Spectral Sword just copies what we are doing. I wonder... Oh my god, it actually works. Yeah, I was wondering if that works or not. Oh, uh, with 1 HP negate an incoming attack. The issue is enemies attack incredibly fast, so you most likely die, even if you block it once. But let's do it. Let's just see. More SP region, very good. Yeah, but I didn't expect that this would work as it does right now. That is amazing. Character size innovation, I'm forced into that. Every level up, we gain a reroll. And if I don't have one, then I'm just forced to take whatever is there. So now for a little while, what I will do is I will just pick the... You know, if it's okay, I will still pick it. Uh, Chain Light Shock, a favorite of mine. There we go. Uh, the waves, I don't care... 0.3 seconds to push away the enemies. Sounds good. I'll take it. 
And don't forget the enemies, they have 4 times the amount of normal HP, but we gain more XP. So as long as we are ahead of that curve, we should be good. What I'm really looking for is the bonus experience. I would like to have that, because I assume the enemies just have literally a doubled amount. Meaning, if I have more percentage on top of that, it should be very good. Well, oh, careful. Instant kill chance, uh, ineffective on bosses, I don't think I care too much. Shield, sure, why not? So, one thing that is bothering me a little bit is, do you see how I move around whenever it goes back? I don't like that, because I don't want to move. It moves me because I was moving. 5 defense with 1 HP, let's go. Yeah... I'm not a big fan of that part. Uh, Reroll, Spectral Bow, sure. That is the only downside on the Merchant upgrade. You can't choose what you get. Instant kill chance, no. Yeah, sure, shield again. Magic missile, very good, because the, it targets the boss, bosses. Wait, it's, it said the bosses will target my, my ghosts, right? My spirits. And I assume that means it will deal damage to the spirits and not to me. Or maybe to both. Oh, I have to be so careful about this. That also means I need protection when the boss spawns in. How will I do that? I, this, this shield is like... Oh, the paths! Hey! So what does this do? SP continues to regenerate while the spirit is active, allowing the creation of additional spirits which share the same effect. They inflict damage without penalty and all enemies hit by spirits also recover. But well, that is amazing! Wait, it does read without penalty. What was the penalty? I don't remember reading about a penalty. Is this that bosses can't attack my spirit, maybe? No, that would be way too good, right? And this one... Okay, I'll quickly read through this. Oh! Inflicting damage. So, wait, I want to test this out. This sounds amazing. So you pretty much teleport to wherever this... <gasps> okay. The reason why this is amazing is... Take a look at our character. We are incredibly limited with our movement, because we just stand still, right? And that means this here could be used as our main movement, pretty much. Yeah, nice. The material cloak, there we go. I would really like to have the study book, but it doesn't want to show up. More damage on the sword. This buffs up the spirit, so I will take it. And the reason why it's important to move around is, very soon, at 5 minutes, there will be a special chest that spawns, or rather a portal, and we have to take that portal down. Now, while standing still... Study! Welcome! While standing still, that obviously doesn't work all too well. So, we have to do that in the future. So, I will use our spirits to move around. Oh, I don't like any of these. 15% <laughs> HP to 1 HP, nice. Study. Very good. And teleport. Spectral Sword. I wonder how much damage it does, because if it doesn't one-shot the enemies, I might kill myself by accident with that. Um, it deals a lot of damage. More experience gain. I'm really greedy right now. I don't think... Oh my god, they are close. Uh, the problem is depending on how far away you move. Wait, what? Oh, that is free. Let me explode that. Spectral bow? Sure. And there we go. This should be fairly easy to do. Nice! Um, oh, I can't pick up the chest. Let me just quickly do... Oh, <laughs> our SP region is so insane that it pretty much just went off right away. And now I teleported, so I got it. So the way chests work here, they give you random upgrades for a weapon. And here it's one for lightning strike. I do have lightning strike, so I will take it. And because we have the merchant trade, we gain a second one guaranteed. There can be more. A miniature purifying circle follows you while active. I don't even have that one. It's usually decent because it stacks on top. But I will go for the Bouncing Daggers. And here... Level up? No. I will go for the Weapon Skill Damage. as a big boost. Nice. HP per second doesn't matter. Movement Speed doesn't matter. SP matters. So, can I literally just get this going permanently? Wait, D Dex, don't forget you're not invulnerable. Why do you keep forgetting this? Your character will die if you walk away too far. Okay, careful. But there was a very lucky chest that it spawned in the middle here. Oftentimes they are at the end of the crossroads there. Down there, to the left, to the right, etc. And it's really frustrating to get them. Um, well, it's not frustrating, but you can die if you only have 1 HP. Pure fine crystal. It's, pure f it's purifying circle. I always say crystal for whatever reason. 
Base damage on the lightning strike. Yeah, we just upgraded that one, so that sounds good. When did the boss spawn? Was it at 7 minutes? I think it was. And I have to be incredibly careful because I don't fully understand how it works. Wait, that also means I can't protect my guy. Uh oh, the boss is here somewhere. There he is. Um, um, uh oh. Oh, that is... Hmm. I, I, I don't know if he can kill me. I kind of want to try it out. Purifying circle, sure. He's... This, these things are not damaging me at least. Oh. Okay, he actually has to hit me to kill me. Now, the only thing that I wonder about is the boss that just spawned. Can I actually kill him? Or will he kill me? No, 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 no. Oh my god, I nearly died. Ooh, wait, I will teleport, right? But not if I'm in a wall. Yeah, that was perfect. Nice, we did it. Okay, so when a boss spawns, walk into a wall to not teleport. I have to keep that in mind. So this is one where I require level 10 in the weapon, and right now it's level 2. I think the chances of that happening are near zero, so I will just go for the energy wave. And these are bad, so I will reroll. Curry's Wisp is rotation speed doubled. Sure, why not? And more damage. This is such a stupid game that I'm having right now, but it's amazing. It's so weird when these weird games work out. But just look, oh my god. That was such an enormous wave. I just can't forget that the enemy will one-shot me, right? I have one HP, so I have to be very careful. The moonlight intensi- No! The moonlight intensifies! Wait, how do I deal with that? Will it not just one-shot me? Like, if it ever lands on me, I'm just dead, right? Oh, that would be so boring. No, that would be a really bad design. Th there's no way they're doing it like this. Yeah, they're, they're, no, no, no. It's all good. I guess maybe with my spirit, I can't walk into it, so I will not try it. I don't want to lose this run, it's a fun run. Uh, let's just make sure that I- maybe I, if I don't move, it never lands on me? Possibly. Let's see. Okay, the portal has appeared. Wait, I have an idea. Let's walk through here, that makes me faster, and then I land here, and I should be right next to the portal. Perfect. Amazing. Okay. And there we go, the next chest. <laughs> we are spawning the spirit so fast, but oh, there we go. What do we get out of the box? Lightning strike for the big bolt, or oh, rate of attack is quadrupled. What do you mean instead? What do you mean inst- Like, what does instead mean? No, but I think I can forget the level 10 ones, so I will not go for it. Dagger is very good. I love daggers. There's my guy. Let's go back to the center. And there we go. <laughs> Welcome back. Projectile speed? Sure, why not? Fireball? Cooldown on Entangle? That is totally useless, but I'll take it. Was there an experience gem down there? No, I think I got it. I hate you. So, I changed it up a little bit. We pretty much keep what we had previously. But I will take anything from get-go unless... It doesn't benefit me at all, so this doesn't change anything. This benefits me, it's useless right now, but I'll be forced to pick it. See you at 11 minutes. Okay, there's the boss. I have to make sure that I never get to teleport. Um, Ascension... Doesn't... Well, yeah, let's take it. Okay, yeah. So, no teleportation means simply stand in the wall and let the boss be there. I kind of want to have him a little bit closer. Maybe down here. Uh, where is he? Yeah, he's walking down very good because I actually need to make sure that I kill him, you know um, But it's looking good. Yep, he's killed and oh that was so close to get the chest What do we have here more movement speed or leave behind a damaging field on expiration? I don't like any of these Cast an unmodifiable skill from the slain boss Wait, what you can just random in these. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, mine 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 so, let's take a look at this. What is this skill? Is it the eye that flies around? Uh, oh, no, that is my orb. Uh, one of these here. No, it's out there. Do you see the eyes? Okay, nice. Not bad. My problem is I don't know when the next boss spawns. And I'm really scared of that one. 
he spawns things that you can't kill and they are super dangerous. Wait, I hope they also target me. Like if they are bugged for whatever reason, as in the boss targets me, but they are not counted as the boss, then um, yeah, I have a problem. I also need to get some of the experience that is on the floor right now. Careful that I don't walk over the stuff. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I shouldn't move around too much while the, the moonlight stuff is going on, the moon glow. Or at least I should only do it if I just spawned the guys in and then I can quickly walk back. Okay, where's the next boss? Wasn't he... Didn't he spawn a 12 minute? No, wait, 13 or 14? One of these he spawns. Let's see if we are strong enough for that. Our kill counter right now is saying we are not. Um... Yeah, so it's 14 minutes. Makes sense. I honestly should also skip the character evasion, this one here. Because even if you manage to evade one attack, you get attacked like 10 times a second. It's also useless. More cooldown on the entangle. Sure. Bounce, very good. Knockback, that is the first one. Projectiles are launched from yourself to the spirit. Enemies that are hit by the projectile take damage equal to your weapon skill. The rate of fire of the projectiles depends on your projectile speed. Wait, so these are... Huh. Okay. Weapon skill duration is half. For the duration of the weapon skill, you become invisible and invincible. All enemies target a spirit for the duration. Wait, that is insane, isn't it? Or am I just plain wrong with that? Uh, movement speed, there we go. So now I'm invisible and... right. Uh, maybe I wasn't with this one, maybe with this one here. Because it didn't seem like I was. Let's see. I don't look invisible, I don't see an indicator either. Um... Oh! Oh no, it's while I'm casting them. Yeah, I see that. Oh, but this is not good. Because I always teleport there. Oh, this is really not good. Okay... At least we took care of that. So, no teleport. Yeah, this is how I will do it. I have to remember that when I walk into walls, I don't teleport. This is very important. Chain Light Shock, unleash five damaging sparks around you. Very good. The Purifying Crystal, the Purifying Circle, or... Wait, what? Okay. I I'll take the Slain Boss ability. Those are the, the guys that spawn. Wait, I have to be very careful what I do now. Okay. I have to lure them away. These are useless. Thank you. Yeah, let's lure them away quickly. Oh, don't forget you teleport. So, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I have the ghosts now. Oh, this is perfect. Huh? How does it feel now to have something undefeatable that just kills you? Uh oh. Uh oh. I need way more SP region for this. Uh, chain Light Shock. Let's rush through. And hopefully they die. I don't think the ghost died. That means I need more damage, otherwise I'm falling off too much. Fireball and explosion size doubled. Very good. And this is a level 10 one. It would be amazing, but the chances of getting a level 10... You can forget about that. Let's actually reroll once. We have the colorless glyph and the level 10, so let's go for the colorless glyph. A third one. Wow. Mimics your first weapon skill evolution, if applicable. I don't really know what that means, but I'll take it. Uh, there's my ghosty boy. Let's go back to the middle. Actually, do I even want to go back to the middle? I... Oh, my... Um... Okay, this is not good with the teleporting. Yeah, I have to be so much more careful with this. Uh, I don't think this was a benefit, to be honest. Yeah, I think this is actually bad. Well, I guess it will help against bosses. Yeah, for bosses, it's really good. For normal enemies, it's very harmful. Because they all target the spirit and are surrounding it. And then I teleport. And if the teleportation boom doesn't kill them, well, then I have a problem. All enemies near an entangle are damaged. Oh. Oh, okay. Interesting. So for the people that watch the game for the first time, this might be a bit overwhelming with all this stuff that is going on. But as I said, I can only recommend checking out the link in the description to the playlist if you want to learn a little bit more about the game. Or, I mean, you, you can also just buy it. You know, that's the easiest one. 
Nomad Survival is for me relatively high up on the Vampire Survivors inspired games. I think the game is a very interesting alternative where Vampire Survivors is relatively easy and you just become super busted. While this game here offers you a ton of challenges, the only thing I dislike is the moment you start you pretty much have all the weapons unlocked and I think it would be a lot more fun to have a progression system in there. But aside from this, it's just a blast. I can highly recommend this one. Oh, a portal has appeared. Uh, don't mess this up. Okay. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. This is not funny. Wait, what? Oh, I have an idea. There we go. Yeah. Huh. Leave me alone. Could it have the invulnerability? I think that would just straight up kill me. Um, that's not cool. Lightning, bow, I, I can't use either of these, they're level 10. Level 10, okay, sure, let's go for Entangle. Let's go for Ascension, there we go. And weapon skill damage. So, what do I do now? Ooh. Is this actually a boss that does that, or what's going on? I'm not too sure. The game has an amazing option where you can change the skill opacity, and I actually have to tune this down, since I need to see when the exclamation mark is below me. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, there is a boss! Oh, how did I miss him? Where is he? He's somewhere over there. There he is! Um, I will not teleport here, good. How long will it take to cast this? A very long time. But there we go, I will kill the boss with my guy. Nice, and now teleport in, take the chest right away. Perfect! Projectiles are replaced with a constant beam, and rate of attack is doubled. They're amazing, but we'll never reach level 10. It's level 2, level 4. Let's reroll, and... um Oh, bouncing daggers! Perfect, yeah! And I guess Curious Wisp is also still there. Let's go. And special... That is a... That is... A, what? That is the third special ability this run! Wait, every single boss gave me one! What? Uh-oh. The explosion's actually still happening. I don't like that. Why didn't I teleport there? I thought I would. Ah, careful. Character size, I don't care. HP, I don't care. Number of orbs, it's okay. It's like nothing special. No, I have to teleport. Yeah, because if I don't see when the exclamation mark is below me, while I'm, like, in a wall, then I will just die. If it's on my character. Okay. Does it actually ever go below my character when I don't move? Let's see. No, it's close by, but it doesn't seem to be on my character. I will just gamble on this. I also have a shield that should protect me from one individual hit. Hoping that it's just one hit. Dude, our fireball is just going crazy. Jesus Christ. Uh, let me get the experience. Entangle. Reroll. Knockback. Okay, there we go. Mm. Uh, this is looking very bad. No, it's looking very good. Where is... Oh, there it is. Give it to me. Give me my treasure. <laughs> Come on, give it to me. <laughs> there you go. What do we get? Uh, I can't take either of these. I don't really want to use that many rerolls. So let's just take the one that is a higher level. Level 2, level 4. There we go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I mean, Colorless Glyph to upgrade its base damage is also solid. It's actually really nice to stand inside of here when you have the bouncing daggers, since they have to bounce off of walls. If they go into the open areas, they just disappear. The only downside is, if a boss appears, then you're cornered. Hold on a second, we didn't get a single gem? Because I'm doing the challenge or what? Why? Why would you do this to me? That is so... Sad. Okay, I, I guess. Dude, I'm actually not killing a single enemy. <laughs> um... Yeah, this may turn into a problem. No defense. Yeah, rotation speed, whatever. This is the point where my weapons are just too weak. Actually, no, we are killing some. It's not a lot, but some. So at 30 minutes, a boss will spawn that will combine everything from the previous bosses that we faced. And this may be a little bit difficult now that we so rarely use our ability. Um, I, I hope it works out. There, yeah, sure. Oh, 29.40. I have doubled the speed and therefore the time. 
2950. He's about to spawn. Can we kill him or not? Okay. My ghost is here. That is good. So I can lure him away. But wait, he's at the top there. That is not good. Oh, that is really not good. Um, okay. How would I do that if I were the... What would I do if I were me? Yes. I... How did that not kill me? <gasps> oh, okay. Uh, um, that was bad. That was really bad. Can I maybe... Can I just straight up kill him? Wait. Is this a bad idea? <gasps> Wait, I won! I thought I died! I won! Victory to Jesse! Oh my god, I really... Oh my god. Yay, I got 20 off the currency, that is not a lot. 